All right, so we're going to start with example one. And it says you owe $25,000 on student loans at an interest rate of 4.75% compounded monthly. You want to pay off the loan in 10 years. So this is what I'm saying is you want to be really, really careful. I'm going to try to get rid of that so it's bigger for you. This gives it away. What will your monthly payment be? So that tells me I need to use the payment function. So payment, and I'm going to go to the Google Sheets in a second. It's our amount, or sorry, our rate. Don't forget to put that zero in front of the four, another common mistake. Compounded monthly, so it's divided by 12. 12 times a year, and we are doing this for 10 years. And this is really important. You owe $25,000. Dollars, and if you go back up here, remember with our payment, that's our present value that comes next. So, our present value, what we owe currently, is $25,000, but we want to get it down to zero. Okay, so equals, and I'm going to go back to my sheets, and let's go ahead. Oh. So I can see it. Okay, so equals payment. Let's see, there it is. Okay. Um, okay, so my rate is 0 0.0475 divided by 12. And then I'm going to do 12 times the 10 years. Um, then it's 25,000 and then remember we want to get it down to zero. So this is pretty great. It tells us, well, let me get out of there again, <laughs> that our monthly payment will be $262.12. So I'm going to go back here, get rid of this guy, give me some more space. And this is really important. If the problem asks you for a complete sentence, give one, okay? I'm not going to just to save us time with notes so you don't have to listen to me for too long, but just pay attention to instructions, especially with the write-ups. It will say, write a complete sentence, and you will be docked if you don't, okay? The other thing I want to be clear with is this is exactly how you should show your work, okay? Now, in my open math, you don't have to show work. You're just submitting answers. But when it comes to write-ups, you need to show your work. When it comes to your midterm and your final, you need to show work. So just get in the habit of, you know, either writing on your piece of paper or just realize that showing work is going to be a requirement. Now, how much interest did you pay or do you pay? Well, if we are paying $262.12 per month, so per month, and we're doing this for 10 years. Again, I can use this as a calculator if I'd like. So I'm going to do equals. Now this is something I like to do is I like to select this cell because then it puts in the entire value times the 12 times the 10. Now it's negative because it's saying you're in debt. Okay, um, so this is saying over the 10 years, I will make 30, I will make a payments totaling $31,454.32. Now that's not our interest, okay, because we did spend $25,000 to go to school. So we want to take our interest, or sorry, our total that we spent over the 10 years. And using these dollar signs is important, so please get in that habit because it's a unit. And I'm going to take away the 25000 So for that, I'm just going to put equals 31454.32, and I'm going to take away 25000 be careful of those zeros. I always make that mistake. 
So what happened here is you actually, after it was all said and done, gave your lender $6,454.32 extra. Now, I really want to make sure that you're clear with your work. Um, please, I would go ahead and say, make sure with sentences or what, that this is the interest paid. So it is clear to me what you're saying your answer is because, you know, I might think you're saying the 31000 So be really clear with how you communicate your math. So that's hard to digest, you know. I have student loans ooh, still to this day, and it's just hard to realize how much extra money they're getting. So to pay those off as quickly as you can is ideal. Okay, so let's go to example two. Juan would like to buy a car that costs $22,000. He has saved $3,000 for a down payment and plans to finance the rest. Okay, right there off the bat, stop reading and realize what are you going to take the loan out for? Well, you have $3,000 already in your pocket, so you don't need to take out the full $22,000. So realize that your loan is really 22,000 minus the 3,000. So you're taking out a loan for 19,000. And that is ideal before you buy anything is to have some sort of down payment so then you get that loan lowered so then you're not giving them tons of interest. So determine the monthly payment. So here's the keyword we want to go ahead and use the payment function. Now, if I finish reading this, it says he found a three-year loan for 3.25% APR and a five-year loan at 5% APR. So we're gonna determine how much our monthly payment would be for each of these. So for the three-year, it would be equals payment, um, our rate, we're doing this monthly, and we're doing this monthly for three years, and our loan amount is for 19000 and we want to get it down to zero. So that's very important right there um, that you put a 19 and not the 22. That's a big mistake that we make. Um, if I do this in Google Sheets, I end up getting, just to save us some time, five hundred and fifty four dollars and sixty four cents now if I do it for the five year equals payment my rate is zero point zero five percent doing it monthly but I'm doing this for five years same loan amount and I want to get it down to zero and just in case I don't want to lose you at all I will bring this one up and we'll do this one together in case the spreadsheets are still giving you issues um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in here he equals again the payment function my rate is 0 0.05 divided by 12 12 times five, I took out 19, or Juan did, took out 19,000, and we wanna get this down to zero. So my loan, my monthly payment will be 358.55. So let me go ahead and get rid of this so it's bigger for you. So $358.55. So this is how they get us. I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, I'd much rather only spend $358.55 per month on my car than you know a whopping $554.64. But let's see how much extra money this loan lender is making off of us. So how much interest will Juan pay for each loan option? Well, for the three-year loan, 
we're making $554.64 monthly payments for three years. And I went ahead and did this already, so just to save time with the calculations, it will give $19,967.04. Well, the interest then, so be clear with marking your work, would be how much you paid, and again, use those dollar signs, minus how much you really had to borrow. And you'll see here that they made almost a thousand dollars more off of us just from us borrowing from them. Now with the five-year plan, my monthly, or Juan's, I always want to take ownership of this car, I guess, <laughs> is $358 and 55 cents, we did it for every month and we did it for five years. And that total comes to $21,513. Well, to find our interest, it would be how much we gave them minus how much we actually had to borrow. And here we get $1,513. So you know, this is a preference thing. Um, you know, if you can really only afford around $350 a month, then yeah, you're kind of forced to taking this loan. But just realize, you know, they're almost making, you know, 15, they are making 15, around $1,500 more just from you borrowing from them. So you want to think about the long game and not just how you can get it like quickly. <laughs> All right, we will stop there and we'll pick up on the other examples.